Hey guys, Bray here from TGS with a Forza Horizon 5 video. We're going to be unlocking the Ferrari Cali T for 20 points during Festival Playlist Series 7 Autumn. It's going to be straightforward, probably about three events will go down in this video, but we're going to still go over everything that's available for the Autumn of Series 7. So right off the bat, I'll kind of just showcase my scenario and we'll uh, go from there. So as you can see, the overall goal for me for this entire series is the Ferrari SF90 exclusive legendary we will not be getting that till the spring as i'm only doing 20 points per week but we're on the way there this is the second to four weeks that i'll be recording offline we will not be doing these live just because i didn't see a point in doing a full out you know, unlocks for this specific series i have quite a few of those cars already so no need to go out of my way to get them moving on to the summer which was last week i unlocked the ferrari 250 gt exclusive legendary that is on the channel so feel free to check it out pretty awesome car moving on to this season autumn Already went over the rewards, but 100% uh, we'll be getting the Ferrari Cali T today, and we'll be checking it out. We you know customize it a little bit at the end of this video. We'll go from there. So moving to our right, we have the weekly challenge Lobo deals with a 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor for five points. You have the typical seven daily challenges, ranging from driving a total of 10 miles in road racing events, to you know, earning three stars from any danger sign, to earning three air skills in cross country events. Moving on to the Forzathon shop. Now I uh, got on before the video and decided to purchase a few things. So we have the Toyota Truno 1985. I just bought that today. The Farid Ruda lion face mask, if I'm saying that right. I already owned the Tiger Warhorn. I must have got it on a wheel spin or something. And I just bought the Panamera Turbo. So pretty sweet week. I had a lot of points. Figured, you know, why not just buy it all? So that's exactly what I did. Moving on from there, we have the Horizon Arcade mini games, The Trial, Rallying Around Mexico. I'm actually going to try it. I don't really need a Hoonigan RS200. But on a Rally B700, I should have something to use for that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be easy completion, knock on wood right now. The trial is always a hit or miss kind of event. We have the Event Lab Baja California stage, which is worth three points. You have a seasonal playground games. You get the Lion Race suit for that. We're not going to be doing that. It's called Black Jaguar. Moving on, you have a Speed Trap. You have a Speed Zone and a Trailblazer. Rewards are a Nissan R390, Super Wheel Spin and Super Wheel Spin respectively. You have two seasonal championships, cross countryside, Mexican hat dance, car horn reward, and we have second home for a Nissan GTR 73, kind of leaning that way because they're five points per event, and if we do well, it can be as straightforward as possible. Moving on from there, we have a photo challenge, cultural heritage. As you can see at the bottom, let's see, we got a white, modern, Puebla, I'm just butchering it, dress. We also have the brains chat link over here for highs and open spread the joy, and lastly, there's a monthly rivals play as a little circuit. I did think about doing this because this is also an easy way to rack up four points across all the uh, weeks, but I think we're going to take a gamble. We're going to hop into the trial. Usually I run this with our mod knight, unfortunately. doesn't seem he can make it today, so I had to just hop in. It's a day of the Call of Duty Operation Monarch event, which I'll be doing live today, so check that out if you're into that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finding a team. I'm running private Welcome comms back, and all that good stuff. I will cut this video up a little bit here and there, but uh, I figure for the most part we're going to treat it somewhat like a live stream where we just kind of wing it as we go, keep the conversation flowing. And this way we can put together a inter an entertaining video for you guys. This is my warm up right now, we're just going to cruise down the road. This is actually the car we unlocked last time. My dude looks absolutely ridiculous by the way in there, but whatever. We're just going to roll with it, I'll have to mess with this outfit next time. The car may not be very fast, but it's fun to drive. Especially, uh, we're still sliding out here. We're running the Elgato HD 60S Plus Streamlabs. It's at the 1080 60. Bring HDMI audio. And this is where the true story begins. I will cut out any failed events, but I will keep in anything that we obviously succeed, even if it's kind of sloppy. It does happen, you know, as a gamer, we have great events. Where I win, you know, every race, I have bad events where we, you know, get cut off by a random real person or AI, and there goes the whole race, you know, you're stuck in 12th place, just dragging in the back. You never know what's going to happen in this game. So, after realizing I didn't have a good car for this, on the first attempt of the trial, which is not going to be in the video, I built a new car, as you can see. So I'll go ahead, hop in, and see how it goes. But the best way to sum it up is I went through the intro, I went into the trial, realized I only had one car, which was not very good for the event. Got uh, pushed out of a checkpoint, 
because it was just chaos out in the first turn. So of course I got pushed out, and then at that point I decided to ditch to respectfully allow my team to do better without me, considering I was stuck in like last place. And uh, at that moment I decided we're just going to cut that out and make another attempt with a fresh build. So hopefully this goes a bit better. This is one of the best two tunes for this car in B class. Instead of seasonal, it was a uh, road and rally kind of build. Obviously put on a custom you know, paint job. So here is my team. Let's hope for the best. Hopefully it goes better than the first attempt. As uh, yeah, definitely not in the video for a reason. Not the way I wanted to start, but knock on wood, this should go a little bit better. So quite a few cars. Mostly everybody in my team ha actually has a 700 vehicle minus one person, but 699 is so close that it's uh, it's kind of not important. They could have probably shoved the point in somewhere, but yeah, I'm not going to call them out for it. But yeah, simple as upgrading your clutch one or two spots, whatever it might be. I usually like to just you know max it out. It could be a purist. You know, you never know how they're going about their mods so, or their tunes per se. Here we go. I was a little bit slower than the car I was running the last race, but we should actually have a chance to do okay. Here's the turn I was talking about. I got pushed out to the right. You can actually miss the checkpoint on the right. And as you can see, the cars are just completely across the entire roadway. Right there, just like they were in the last attempt. And I got I was unfortunately on the right side. And I tried to get the checkpoint, but we you know, barely missed it on the outside. And then the rewind just had a stroke basically. It was just stuck in place shaking. And I just fell so far behind that was that. So this run's already going better considering I get pushed out. Uh, seemingly a much better team because last time we only had one or two people up near the front and everybody else was in the rear but probably because of the crazy scenario we encountered I really enjoy Forza Horizon 5 and I highly recommend it if you haven't checked it out we'll say right off the bat that we need a DLC one of the reasons I stopped streaming this is one of our most popular games on the channel for a very long time and it kind of dwindled down to a pretty standard numbers for our channel, which are much lower than what I was getting, and I decided to take it off the channel to free up some space for other games. Right now we're doing Counter-Strike Go alongside Halo, now we're doing uh, Need for Speed Hop and Super Master on the weekends. So it's not for the worst, but I absolutely will give this day an entire afternoon again once they give us a DLC. This game has no DLC announced, and you know, I'm pretty sure Horizon 4 and 3 would have had a DLC drop by now, so you get the idea. Car is not too shabby, probably not the best in the race, but being a team effort, I'm perfectly okay. I'm hanging in there, as long as I'm not weighing my team down. Horrible turn right here. I hate these 90 degree turns. One thing they gotta resolve is the DLC and moving forward. 90 degree turns are an extremely annoying race for the reason that you don't really see 90 degree turns in racetracks. Nobody wants to do it. <laughs> Slow down the pace. Keegan is on my sit. Pretty sure they're not even actual driver cars, they're just AI. I had this discussion with late in our last video. I'm pretty sure it's the same people. The same, uh, you know, fake AI names like Keegan. Yeah, see how they're not actual drive There's William, Pablo, Katya, Tristan, Tonya. I'm saying any of that right. That's Tegan there. He's really trying to, to get past. How'd I finish sixth? Wasn't I in fourth place? I'm so confused. 
This game, I feel like the last two streams have been having like desync issues. I must have fell behind somewhere. How did Tegan pass me? He was behind me at the finish line. This happened last time, guys. There's some, this game just, if there's not, you know, they fix one thing, they break something else. Very quick. Nope. We're fast traveling to the next anyway, race. If we get quick. this, well that's done. 10 points down right off the bat of our 20. Then we just jump through two seasonal championships, which I hopefully have vehicles for. And uh, yeah, that'll be the video in a nutshell. We'll see how the next race goes. I've had teams that looked absolutely amazing just do absolute crap the rest of the trial. And then the next thing you know, we lose, even though we should have won. I've had the worst teams make a turnaround and pull in that last second dub. I've seen it all at this point. The worst are those days where you do the trial like two, three, four times with randoms and every single time. They're like the more difficult ones where the AI are just BS. The driver tires on higher difficulty are BS. There's like no question about it. They'll take like 90 degree turns without braking sometimes. I've, I've seen some crazy stuff. And some crazy maneuvers that you can never compete with. But uh, overall, this might be one in the bag. Quite a few... WRXs in this event of all different years. Definitely a uh, reliable car for this kind of venture. I think I've ever had the chance to drive WRX or Lancer. Why are the AI so reckless? They, they drive like they're drunk every single time I play this game. They're like swerving around, trying to like block you, but they're supposed to be AI. So uh, like, you made AI so aggressive. One of the biggest you know, peeves of playing on racing games online are other people ramming you off the road and stuff, which is ridiculous in Forza, especially in the older games where they started adding, you know, systems where, you know, when you're about to crash at high speed, you know, it makes you both invisible and stuff like that, as we have seen Horizon Open, but one of, that was one of the worst parts of playing motorsport games through the years. You'd be in, like, first place, you'd go into a turn, and some guy would just slam you from the side, you'd use brakes, and you'd fly off the track, and that's the end of the race for you. All right, Tristan, I know you're cheating behind me, you're following my bumper again, and it's going to say that even though I'm ahead of you, that you won. But I just learned that I gotta accept that. I like the speed on the last vehicle I was using, which is the one I failed in, but I feel like this car is better handling. For sure, like, not even a question. Handling that was horrendous, part of the reason I made the swap. High speed's great, but not on a rally race. If you got no traction, it's not gonna do well. in the middle of the pack in this gym, in this trial, but I'm okay with that. We're here to make the team effort, and I ain't trying to fight these guys for placement. That's how I do these races. I'm sure, I'll pass them if we get the opportunity, but these guys got some pretty sweet tuned cars. That was one of my other considerations, and I thought about it, but I didn't get it. I saw this, uh, was it my, not my, sorry, was it my garage already. I figured I would just use this. Pretty sure that's another one where we got it in the bank. If so, hell yeah. That's what I call an easy 10 points. Yeah, we murdered it. This is one of the best weeks of trial I've had. Last week one night, we uh, we did all right on the trial. This week was just obliterated. Unfortunately, he missed out. Hopefully he's here for next time. There's our Hoonigan that I already got one. Maybe I'll build another one in a different class because I have an S2 maxed out one that I was using for, you know, danger signs.
So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this in my 2018 Porsche Macan LPR Rally Raid. Initially, I tried using my X-Ray John Cooper, and it kind of let me down, I'm not going to lie. So I went out of my way, rebuilt a new car. This is the second time we're going to have to cut the video, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, there's not much I can do about it. My recording might be an hour or so, but our final video is probably going to be 30 to 45 minutes, is my guess. A few failed attempts today, but yeah, it doesn't hurt. Let's see if this vehicle treats me much better. I really hope it does, considering the brand and the build. I'm going to stick to third person for this event, specifically because of the weather conditions. I feel like we got a little bit more speed. See how it handles. Uh, also handles the landings better. The transmission, and like the mini, is not causing me to shift down on landing from jumps, which is slowing me down a lot. So let's see how this goes. It's gonna stop blocking. You can drive as hard. Come on, car, come on, go! The, the, the lack of acceleration because I tapped the wall is such a punch in the face. This so went from like a common, peaceful like trial and seasonal championship. Somehow the, tr the seasonal championships are more difficult than the trial this month series for autumn. Which makes no sense, by the way. Considering you're talking about unbeatable driving tires versus highly skilled, but highly skilled means that they're probably driving in clear weather right now, along in a storm with eight class cars or something. Considering how flawlessly they're going right now, but we gonna still try to catch them. But look at look how they're not sliding at all. I just want to point that out. Not one fucking slip. Not one slip. Just power through the whole thing. It's extremely cheesy. people in front of me, but they're holding leads that are going to be hard to catch right now, especially with them getting traction through all the turns. I'm going to rewind because this is just foobar if you ask me. If certain AI are cheating, I'm going to quote unquote use rewind to my advantage to kind of cheat too. They should not be performing this well. Like I 100% call a Forza out for the drive guitars they put in this game because it's just ridiculous. Because AI used cheap methods, I went ahead and used the tactic of rewinding to get myself back up front, well up front in the first place. That should be it right there. Finish first. Yes, I used rewinds, but I blame the game for allowing the AI to have flawless traction in the mud and rain. It just makes no sense. I'm not going to stand by that. Beauty of rewinds. The only downside of co-op is you don't get rewinds, like for the in this manner where the entire race rewinds, but you have the second person to basically help uh, yeah, you try to complete it.
So here we go. Decided I would cut the second event out of the video because the AI were just such complete BS with their traction stability and everything about them that uh, we had to end up doing the third race. And I redid the second race quite a few times trying to find any way that I could beat them. But you know, if there's any way to sum it up, the game literally held a middle finger up to me. So I'm kind of expecting the same here. Kind of like the first race where I had to cut it and rewind a bunch of times to get the right final turn to make the pass. The AI are uh, just, just BS. Championship, I honestly probably wouldn't recommend. Anything cross country in this game is half garb anyway. Especially the AI, anywhere above average. BS, another way to sum it up. We're gonna see if this race goes a little better. It seems like it is already, but let's not jinx it. I chose was the problem child per se. These weather conditions in this race are ridiculous. As I said before, I, I think the AI just have a nice, clear, sunny day right now. We're lucky to have passed them. We used the turns to our advantage. That was key. This turn was a major uh, contributor to our advance in the first place. It's really just about finishing the last laps. And one of the more pain in the ass seasonal championships I've done in a while. Really thank you. So one event that I'm going to have to say that I didn't like today. Here's the other turn that got me. Uh, that's the, the turn we just passed is the one that got me the first place. Or helped me get to first place. I was able to move up right behind first in that turn. because I'm just trying to focus right now. Got, uh, pretty agitated during this recording. A lot of it was cut out. More particularly for that last race we did. First race definitely was a takeoff race, but it was beatable. This was the easiest of the three races to beat. The second race was the most miserable and toughest of all because they were just complete bullshit. Here we go, we got in. Mexican high dance horn. Totally probably not worth the effort that was <laughs> needed to complete this, but we got it done. Five more points in.
I'm at like an hour in the recording. I can almost guarantee that the actual video is probably only like a half hour now. I've wasted so much time. This is going a lot worse than last week, but I think I jinxed it in the beginning by hoping it was going to be better. It ended up being worse. So we got, we need an S1 Nissan. Figure out what we can get. This car will absolutely do the job. So we're going to use the 2020 Nissan GTR Nismo R35 for the final five points we need. As you can see, we're at 16. We got a daily done. Personally, I've already promised you guys I'll do the seasonal championship, but it would have been much smarter to keep it more open-ended. So next week, new rule of thumb. We're going to base it on the experience. If I hop into something and it doesn't go well, instead of doing it 30 times, like the last race, using rewinds in the whole nine yards, we'll just make a smarter decision and uh, go to something else. We don't want to torture ourselves for 20 points. It's not worth it. When you're doing 40, you kind of have to suffer through it. You need those points, but not here. So there's our three races. As long as this car qualifies, we should be good to use it. Here we go. If Knight couldn't make it today, I'll give him a shout out because uh, he was going to be here, but unfortunately, he couldn't make it, but uh, yeah, he'll be doing this later. Not in the video. I warned him about the cross country, but if he really wants that board, he's going to have to suffer through it. my least favorite area to drive in the entire game because you touch one fucking wall and you get insta-stopped. And I'm getting rear-ended in the turn. Does not help. Definitely a lot more fun though than the last one. Should have done this first and ended with the cross country. This race is possibly the most fun I've had this entire session. Driving through downtown in a freaking Nissan GTR, Dismo. It's doing very well. A lot of power. It's gonna get to the ground. Minus these tunnels. I've always hated those tunnels. Because in Koa, they stop you, and then there's almost no coming back from a crash in Koa. co-op over single player but that benefit of that rewind is what saved our day that made us you know, not have to redo it again and again and again it's one mistake it cost you the whole race as you guys know but in co-op you know you have that one partner who still has a chance to you know, like pull through for you but they do well so it ends up working out pretty nicely in that aspect but here we go first on the first race
what we're going to do is go to the next race. My dog's been uh, been watching me play. So he knows that uh, this game pissed me off a bit today. <laughs> He's come to uh, console me. My anger, frustrations. Plenty of streams of Forza where we have a great time. Beautiful, flawless session. And I have plenty of times of Forza where we get rage pissed. This is kind of a mixed kind of vibe recording. Hopefully uh, the videos still have the quality I hope to deliver. I'm human just like anybody else, so you know, we can get angry. All that kind of good stuff. If we can nail this race, we're done. So let's freaking do it. We'll hop in the car, check it out. Get a screenshot for the thumbnail or something like that. And uh, go from there. But let's not jinx it. I'm going to stay very focused here. I'm going to try and minimize my... Rambling on. Especially because I had my rants today. Which may or may not be the video based on what I cut out on the side at the end, what needs to stay, what needs not to stay. I will not keep any failed attempts out. I'll probably leave some of the rewinds in, but the one section where I rewinded like 10 times will probably have to cut shorter. No big deal though. Easy, uh, easy patches to the video per se. Return. I always like this road. It reminds me of like a USA kind of vibe out here. Cruising. Pushing it a little bit to the limit, but that's what I do best. Push it to the limit. Let floors of piss you off beyond the all control. Rage pissed and ran along with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Son, you're making me happy. Beautiful job. For this straight. Right after this uh, race and picture, I'm off to do the Call of Duty Operation Monarch event. The only reason I'm mentioning it is because it's such a big event. We're doing it live on the channel. This video will come out after the event, but if you look it up, it will be on our channel. We're going to get to witness King Kong Godzilla. That's kind of the hype of uh, this week and today for the channel. Our highlight of the week, possibly our most viewed stream, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. Words again, we'll be back on the channel once they bring the DLC. Until then, I'm just going to do offline recordings for content. If it ends up being worth it, we feel like doing a full uh, two-hour stream someday, we can. Step at a time. That should be our race completed. Wrestle playlist. I am confused. Why did it not give me? So it's going to make me do the third race, apparently. That is weird. It usually two success. We already won, so I don't know. Why thinks I should do this, but okay, I guess. Pretty certain we won that. Maybe I missed it in the recording that we somehow lost. I don't really know what to say or about that. That was weird. Third 
race. I didn't really have an option to gain. The game's just flipping me off today. The trial went all right after I got a proper vehicle for it. Cross country was a uh, just you know, broomstick in the closet. No other way to sum up what I witnessed there. And then we win two matches clean as F. Clean Lee Wan. That's making me do the third race, which is not necessary because we won two out of three races. So no matter what, we should technically get our five points. I'll just include this in the video. Thought we were done and we're gonna go take our picture, but the game is just trying so hard to sabotage my uh, my lunch slash preparing for the stream that uh, we have to do an extra race. But now the AI are just being complete you know, out on me. Rewind because I'm uh, driving a little bit reckless because the fact that I have to do this is already. But Forza, you, you guys really got to get your shit together. There's no excuse for this. There's really not at this point in your game's life cycle to, to have these issues anymore. From the desync we saw in the first race, because I kept getting you know pushed behind people that were behind me. I, I crossed the finish line and it said they beat me across it. So. Obviously, there's desync going on there. Off-road to drive a tar are just complete BS. Of course, here, they're making me do a third race, and this time, they literally look like they're on unbeatable or something. We're gonna catch him. The guy in first is uh, just out. Please, game, you don't even give me a warning. The other thing I gotta point, point out about this game, why is there no warning that I'm exceeding my speed when I have the request on? It has a yellow marker there when I blatantly needed a red indication. All the all the dumb things that go on in this game will be it. Should not be something we deal with, but it is what it is. I'm trying to catch this guy before the end of the race. Not all of them, but quite a few of them. Uh, I just don't know why I'm making such dumb mistakes. Probably because I shouldn't have to do this again. You don't have, you shouldn't have to do something, you don't really put the full effort into it. So I'll just blame that. Way too many rewinds today. So now please give me my five points for it. It's, it's not rocket science. Shouldn't even have to do this. So I started driving sloppily because I just have no interest in doing another race. I've already, uh, you know, quote unquote, suffered enough. I like the tune. Definitely not going to like the event or Forza's handling of this game. There we go. Seasonal reward 1973 Skyline HT. What well, a yeah, somewhat miserable vibe session. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess uh, yeah, it's raining in the game. Uh, just a prime example. Games are far from perfect. Crystal playlist. We got our Ferrari Cali T. That was the whole point of doing this. So we have 21 off 52 points. Ferrari Cali T, the one we completed here. We earned three air skills across the cross-country events. We did the trial. And we did both seasonal championships with the uh, bottom one second home, making me do three races for some reason. Probably because it was a street race. I don't know, but either way, Let's go ahead, get out this new car, throw a tune on it, grab a yeah, paint job and get a picture. Where is it? California T. The whole reason I suffered through quite a few of the events today is for this car. Of course it's raining, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to my home. I have to really make this sweet and short. I have less than an hour to have lunch, get ready for a stream, the whole nine yards, and let my computer cool down a bit, because uh, it's warming up today. So let's see. Upgrade tuning, fine tunes. going to leave it in A class. 
take this road racing open tune right here. Don't want to go too far from stock, but I do want to have it upgraded slightly so that when it performs in its class, it's not slacking in the rear. I want to actually be able to use it to race if we can. Moving on from that, I don't know if I'll actually get a design or I'll just paint it. Let me just take a quick look at the available option. That one looks pretty cool, but uh, also the Rosso Corso. I'm just gonna paint the car myself. So this is our, they have a lot of colors for this car. God, what? The rims. Uh, I'm thinking about the second red. I'll put some carbon fiber mirrors on there. Got no wing. Definitely would have meant some carbon rims. Calipers. Drop some tin on the windows. All right, our car's ready to go. Let's uh, take it like downtown or something. Get a screenshot or two or three, and uh, we'll conclude our video. wasn't raining it'd be a little bit better in my view but let's travel here and uh let's get into town Whew, listen to that I think where I want to get a picture of it. Let's turn around and go back down into town. There's a few really good spots we can go to. I just don't know exactly where they are. We always like have to look around for them for a bit. I know the church. Or one of the churches is a nice spot. It's a little side street back there. Let me go back. Side street is this thing right here. Oops. I'm trying to figure out where do I want to go for a photo. Kind of like a cafe or some kind of little chill spot. I'm gonna go further to our left, to the south.
someone said hello to me because I accidentally hit high. Well, that looks sweet with the windows up like that. We're probably going to put them down. Look at this. will be a spot right here going up this road. Exit photo mode, that's definitely not the spot I want. I just thought it would look good, but it uh not looking as good as I was hoping. But yeah, we found a spot up here that was pretty cool. Let me just drive up there straight and then I'll not getting like the angle I need because we have to like get the convertible in the angle so I'm kind of just wasting time now but you know what, let's uh let's leave the city I, I was thinking to stay in the city but the city is just kind of being annoying at this point let's go down to this resort see if we can like pull in the driveway or something and get a picture at the hotel Maybe just take it down to the beach. Not a bad idea. All right, come on. Stop waiting to go in the photo mode until it's too late. That's pretty sweet looking. I get a few photos real quick, just so I have a few to work with. Let's move it out a little bit like that. All right, I think that's going to be it for my screenshots, guys. I think we got uh, what we're looking for. Greatly appreciate if you like and sub. Again, this video is going to be like cut in half by the time I'm done with it. It's over an hour and 20 minute recording, but I guarantee it's going to be under an hour. Like 100% guaranteed. It might be closer to 30 to 45. A lot of wasted time, but overall we got what we came for. All that good stuff. So, greatly appreciate it. Like and sub. Peace out.